You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. What's up, Black and White Sports fans? John Matrix here, and I am back with another video. All right, guys, this is your first time here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, check out the join button. We have channel memberships. The channel at the time of this recording has surpassed 19,000 subs. We'll probably get to 20,000 subs today. Thank you to everybody that has supported us. But let's get over here to Woke Sports. Woke Sports has pretty much taken every aspect of sports right now. You know, we can't just talk about the game. When the virus was going on, we had no sports. And then when sports came back, it decided to get completely woke. And none of the mainstream media is speaking out against this. Only channels like myself, Sports Wars, and and also uh, Outkit the coverage with Clay Travis and Whitlock. We're pretty much the only ones that's actually talking about this. You know, there's probably some other channels that I can't think of off the top of my head, but you guys know where I'm coming from. The mainstream media refuses to criticize athletes for for mixing politics and sports. It's not a good mix. It's bad for business. It alienates your fan base. And that's pretty clear as far as we can see, as far as the NBA, the ratings are down. And we know that the NFL is going to be starting here in a few days. And we'll have to see what happens with the NFL. But I'm not feeling too confident that the NFL is going to have strong, strong ratings because we already know what they're going to have in the end zone, you know, in racism, it takes all of us don't know exactly how big that's actually going to be shown on the field. I'm thinking it's probably going to be pretty big. Okay. Now this is going to be in all, all NFL stadiums for the home team, but let's get over to this here. Jack Smith, the founder of sports authority, I remember the sports authority back in the day. He has some strong words about for LeBron James and these woke sports. He is not a fan of that at all. And folks, I got to tell you, man, I completely agree with what he said. Now, Jack Smith, uh, you guys probably see my cat here. She's on my on my lap. But uh, Jack Smith actually said uh, this. He said, quote, if I had sports authority, I'd take the LeBron Nike shoes and put them on the back shelf. I think it was stupid what the Mets and Marlins did. I don't know what they were trying to prove. Close quote. Wow. So he would take a prominent athlete's shoe and put it on the back shelf. That's how little respect he has for all of this woke sports. I agree with him on that. I agree with him. I wouldn't actually go out if I'm a consumer. I would not actually go out and purchase anything from these athletes. You know, what do we talk about here on this channel? We talk about defund the athlete and we got, we got those shirts coming. I saw the merch store. It was up, but then we had some, some issues with it, but it should be back up probably today or tomorrow. But anyway, I digress. Yeah, he he's perfect. He's completely right about that. And I do believe that you guys agree with this also because people in the comment section right here on this channel, they said that, you know what, they're done with Walt Center. They're done with MSESPN. They said that they get their sports news from this channel and OutKick. We love that. We love the support. I mean, this is the reason why this channel a month ago had 1,000 subs and now it has 19,000 subs. It's because we are all sick and tired of woke sports. Nobody wants to watch sports for the politics. It is a bad, bad mix. But you know, you got the woke media out there trying to make excuses for, for all of this. LeBron James has set a bad precedent out there in sports. Now it's not all on LeBron, you know, the NBA, you know, putting black lives matter on the court, all these social justice messaging, you know, actually peeped out the end of the, uh, the heat, Milwaukee game uh, at the end of last night because I was actually planning on making a video on it and I wanted to see kind of the outcome so I can kind of set the stage for the video. But I found this here and I thought this would probably be a better topic here, but it's completely woke. The NBA is completely woke. 
I couldn't get past all the social justice messaging on the uh, on the jerseys. Now the coaches too. I didn't even know this. They actually had uh, social justice messaging on their shirts as well. They had like these badges. I don't remember exactly what they uh, what they exactly said on it. I don't remember. I was just so frustrated. Then I just turned it off, and then I just went to bed. I was like, I'm not even going to make a video on this. I did predict that the uh, the Heat would win in a in four or five because the Milwaukee Bucks. The reason why they lost, they showed up in that bubble, not ready to play basketball. They wanted to be social justice warriors, and it showed. They lost in five games because they didn't care about playing a game. They wanted to boycott games. Well, you know what now? Now you guys got a lot of time to go out there and protest in the name of sexual assaulter Jacob Blake. Go out there and do it. Prove it. Okay? Prove Jack Smith wrong. Politics and sports is a bad mix. But you know what? These these players, man, they're actually going to go out. Even LeBron, when it's all said and done, they're going to go to their offseason homes and they're going to disappear. We know that. Well, depending on the election, you know, LeBron is probably going to have some virtue signaling um, um, appearances, you know, but they better follow through. I mean, the NBA is pushing for voting politics, pushing for the Democratic Party. This is a bad, bad move. OK, a bad move. And when Jack Smith says he would put LeBron James shoes on a bat shelf. That says a lot right there. I can only imagine if a sports authority was still, you know, an operation today. Would LeBron shoes actually be on the bat shelf? Could be, you know, if he had the control, maybe he would just completely pull them off the shelf completely. Maybe he was maybe he would actually want to lose money. Maybe he wouldn't lo- want to lose that much money. I'm I'm actually wondering, you know. How how well are LeBron shoes even selling right now? I'm very, very curious about that because maybe we maybe me and Rhodes should do some research on that and get back to you guys about that. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Jack Smith, the founder of Sports Authority, slamming LeBron James, slamming Wilt Sports. He says that it has no place out there for anybody. I don't even know how we got to this point, you know, mixing it's in politics and sports like that. I just don't get it. I'm not a fan of it. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.